So this is an important topic that I definitely wanted to add into a video for good reason. This ape says everyone in AMC bought shares except for CEO Adam Aaron. And this other ape said it's been high time for CEO Adam and the board to buy their own stocks and show us how much they believe in the future of AMC. Retail investors of AMC have not only bought boatloads of movie tickets in the last two and a half years to save AMC theaters from financial strangulation from the globalists, but have also bought and held the stock despite frauds, manipulation, and short sellers driving down the price by 90%. Now this honestly is a good time to bring this up because we've seen different companies in the past, I'm not going to name any specific companies, but we've seen other companies be shorted heavily and be driven down to the ground by whatever reason, let's just say. And you definitely have seen, I know you guys have too, the CEO come out on CNBC or on Twitter or wherever and say, look, I'm buying 100,000 or 200,000 or some odd amount of my own company's shares. And what does that do for the company? What does that do for the shareholder base? It shows that the CEO or the founder of the company believes in the company and in the stock long term and also gives everyone else a bit of relief. Just knowing that if the leader believes in it enough to purchase more shares of it, then why shouldn't we all? Now, I'm not necessarily saying that CEO Adam or anyone in the board of AMC needs to go out and buy shares of AMC specifically. They can, of course, do whatever they want. But it is a time, especially with where AMC has been trading as of recently, where you would normally see or you maybe think, that the CEO or other board members would maybe, just maybe, go ahead and buy some shares and make it publicly known. But comment down below what you think. This ape says, what June movie is everyone most hyped for? And make sure to comment down below. June is a pretty stacked month for theatrical releases. These are the movies I'll be watching at my local AMC in June. Number one, Across the Spider-Verse. Number two, Boogeyman. Number three, Transformers. Number four, The Flash. Number five, Elemental. Number six, No Hard Feelings. Number seven, Indiana Jones. I would say I'm all excited for Transformers and Flash, but drop your most anticipated movies in the comments, guys. Which are you most excited for? AMC Now versus the lockdown. The only thing about the stock or the company that is the same when compared during the lockdowns is the stock price. But the movies are breaking records left and right since then, and the overall cost to borrow of the stock is astronomical. But the only thing that remains the same as when the theaters were closed down is the price. I'm very optimistic and excited about the coming months. If you don't think AMC is going to go to $100 plus or $1,000 plus, that's okay. But if from this point on you think AMC doesn't have upside potential, in my opinion, and I could be wrong, I think you're crazy.